Hey everyone, we're here at MSI's offices in Southern California looking at a ton of laptops. I'm sure we have B-roll of it, but there are two, four, six, there's seven laptops on the table. Uh, these are all 10 series for the most part, except this one, which I'll talk about in a moment. So before talking about the Stealth, which is the one I want to talk about, while leading into the video, we had the confusion of what do all of the letters and numbers mean? So uh, we're going to go over the naming scheme first, because I think that'll help everyone in the future. There is actually a method to the names, and it does make some sense <laughs> once you hear it. Some sense. Uh, so first of all, there's Stealth series. These are, that's the ones back here. These are the thin and light ones. Uh, so this would be a GS type laptop. That's Stealth, Gaming Stealth. And then they have a number attached to them. I'll get to the number in a moment. I've already ruined it with fingerprints. Uh, there's also GT laptops. So these kind of larger ones, or mid-size in some cases. That's a GT laptop. That's the Titan, and then this is another GT, but it's one of the smaller ones uh, that has seen a revival with Pascal. We'll talk about that as well. So Titan, both GTs uh, that I picked up, then GE, which is the Apache laptops, and uh, that pretty much covers what we have on the table. So walking through what it means, Stealth is the thin and light, or small laptops. Uh, GE is kind of like a mid-range, and then the Titans are bigger. Um, for the numbers, the numbers you'll see are sixes and sevens. So there's 63s and 73s. You'll see in the older generations a two, 62, 72. So the first number, the six in this case, is indicative of the size of the screen or the entire unit really. Uh, so six for this, 63, it's going to be a 15.6 inch display. Sevens are going to be a 17.3, uh, so that's a 73 in this case. And then the eights for the big titans, like the one from CyberPower, that's really an MSI rebranded CyberPower laptop that we looked at recently. That's an 18-inch display. As for the uh, <laughs> the other number, um, the three. So the three is the new generation chassis. If you see a two, it means it was a previous generation chassis. And that's really all that means. It's just the, the chassis generation. It does not necessarily, as I understand it, reflect the components inside. So I think that covers the names. I was also given an alternative set of names of, uh, for Titans, Death Stars, and then <laughs> planes, and spaceships. But that didn't really help me. So we're going to go with the official <laughs> names. Um, as for the laptops to show off, the Stealth is the one that we haven't really talked about much. We've, we have the, the Apache, the GE series laptop, in the lab and have already published some articles on it and videos and stuff like that from the London event. But the Stealth is the direct blade competitor, so this would be the competition to the Razer Blade if you're considering that notebook. Uh, it's a bit different in some ways. The Blade does use soldered memory to its board, and this is so dim, so that's a, a major difference. Uh, the body is a bit different different, but in terms of prices, things like that, that's kind of where you'd look for the direct competition. The GS 6 series, this one, the 15.6 inch, uh, actually both of these on the table, are running i7 CPUs. Uh, there are no i5s in any of these laptops in front of me, so they're i7 CPUs, uh, and then they are both GTX 1060s for the GPUs. This unit here, the one that's been revived, so this Dominator laptop, we reviewed a couple of these in previous generations, but they've been uh, absent recently. So it's been brought back because of high demand, and this one has a GTX 1070 in it, and it's got a K-SKU CPU. So you can actually overclock the CPU. I showed how to do that in a previous video with a 970M unit, uh, actually also an MSI laptop rebranded as CyberPower. So if you're curious about the K-SKU CPUs and how they work in laptops, you can see that video. I think we hit 4.1 gigahertz on it, which is pretty damn good for a CPU and a laptop. Uh, and then we overclocked the GPU, something like 150 or megahertz offset or something like that. So that's the basics. Uh, the Stealth, the one that I was focusing on, is the smaller unit. It's the one that I'm most interested in personally, uh, just because of its, its form factor. And we'll look at thermals later, hopefully. But speaking of thermals, it's got three fans. So the previous generation had two fans on the bottom. This one's going up to three. It has two for GPU cooling, one for CPU side cooling, uh, and then six heat pipes. In terms of size versus the previous generation, these two units, uh, the one underneath is the previous gen, and you can see it's a bit bigger. So that's a 900 series GPU. And the 
the actual measurement in inches is from memory uh, 0.77 on the 17 inch notebook, 0.69 inches on the uh, 15 inch notebook, and then 0.78 on the uh, 900 series notebook. So I think, I think we got it. I think I got all the basics. It's a lot of stuff, but uh, hopefully it will at least give you the naming scheme, what it means when you're shopping, so you understand, looking at one SKU to the next, what the intended difference is. And then we do have some coverage, some basic benchmarks. We'll have more online very shortly. So as always, subscribe for those. Patreon link to the post video to help us out directly. I'll see you all next time.